Hi, I'm Tim Tyler and this is a video about caution in the development of intelligent machines. It's commonly thought that caution in the initial development of machine intelligence is likely to be associated with better outcomes and that things like extensive testing, sandboxes and provable correctness are things that will help to produce a safe and beneficial synthetic intelligent agent. In this video, I cast doubt on that idea by exhibiting a model in which delays caused by caution can lead to much worse outcomes. So, to start with, I'm going to pass over to Anna Salmon discussing the now fashionable topic of machine morality. Um, if we underestimate the risks, possibility of human extinction. If we overestimate the risks, put off a singularity and all the value that could create. Anna proposes that overestimating the risks of intelligent machine development might at worst lead to delays. However, I don't think that this analysis is really right. Caution in developing machine intelligence might easily cause other problems besides delaying its development, and those problems could be severe. To illustrate this, I've got a model to present. But first, let's note that information technology is often a winner-takes-all ecosystem. The first organisation past the post often gets most of the available reward. If you look at the history of IT, you'll find many examples of this. Often it's not exactly the first one past the post that gets the reward. So, for example, Google wasn't the first search engine, AltaVista preceded it, and um, Microsoft wasn't the first manufacturer of operating systems. But it's the first one that kind of really takes off that is often hard to displace. Different organisations are likely to lead to futures of different di desirability if they develop superintelligence. Um, what we want to avo avoid, basically, is uh, undesirable organisation with poor moral standards developing superintelligence. Um, we've seen the kind of example of the havoc that that can produce already because we've got a highly unscrupulous corpor corporation um, developing quite a range of the operating system software today. So Microsoft is one of the most hated corporations ever and it's known to consumers and developers worldwide as the evil, evil empire. And Microsoft have basically hold, held back development in the IT industry um, over the last couple of decades um, with their disreputable business practices, um, fear, uncertainty and doubt marketing and their shoddy products. So we really don't want machine intelligence to be made by Microsoft or another similar organisation, um, otherwise it's likely to turn into a rat's nest of malware and viruses. Other organisations also, um, we don't want to see them developing machine intelligence, so for example spammers or um, the mafia. Spammers have got a nice example of um, a reverse Turing test problem which they quite, would quite have access to machine intelligence to solve, but obviously we don't want that kind of organisation being first to develop machine intelligence. So um, with that in mind, um, here's my model of the development of intelligent machines. Um, so um, the time axis goes vertically, so time progresses in that direction. Direction. And here are different organisations, five different organisations in my model that are developing intelligent machines and they're racing towards um, kind of human level intelligence up here somewhere and um, as time passes each of them gets closer, perhaps at a slightly different rate from each other and um, you'll see I've labelled the um, different organisations in different ways. The idea here is that the black hats represent organisations that are evil and undesirable and disreputable or um, just generally poor quality organisations organisations that we don't want to see develop super intelligence um, and these organisations with the smiley faces on um, and this one over here um, they represent more desirable futures more desirable organisations to develop super intelligence um, and as you, as you can see at the moment the um, the agents with good moral standards or the um, corporations with good moral standards or whatever organisation they are are currently in the lead so it looks as though at the moment these organisations are going to get up to human level first of all um, however um, if they're convinced that um, it's necessary to take safety precautions then what we might see is something like this um, here I've removed the tops of the um, organisations that are safety conscious to represent the delays that they incur by engaging in testing strategies and um, trying to develop provable correctness for their machine intelligences. And um, you'll see what the result of this has been is that now um, these organisations are being more cautious, but these organisations didn't care much about caution in the first place. That wasn't one of their priorities. They just want to get there first. And now, because of the um, caution these organisations are using, the um, black hat organisations are actually going to arrive at machine intelligence first of all, which um, could represent a negative outcome for society. So um, that's my model. 
Um, if one organisation is a long way ahead, then a small delay might make little difference. But history is replete with inventions that occurred independently, nearly simultaneously, and the invention might happen in several different places within a short time span. So it's quite likely that the organisations will be neck and neck, more or less, as I've portrayed them in my diagram. Um, delaying on safety grounds simply cedes the initiative to other, less scrupulous organisations. Um, the proponents of delaying on safety grounds seem to think that a slower, more cautious approach is less likely to lead to negative consequences. However, they apparently pay little attention to the possibility that the main effect of delaying would be to handicap your own project, thereby ensuring that another organisation with less inclination to delay on safety grounds reaps the associated benefits first. The effect doesn't just happen if you overestimate the probability of disaster and so are overcautious. Any cause of caution that delays the products of the organisations, the desirable organisations with the smiley faces associated with them, um, more than the organisations with the black hats on. So, um, in summary, delaying on safety grounds may not just cause development to take longer, but it's likely to result in the future being left in the hands of an agent constructed by an organisation with few moral scruples. This is a counterintuitive conclusion. You might think that being more cautious would result in a reduced chance of a negative outcome. However, in this model I presented, the reverse is true, and the model seems fairly, to fairly realistically represent the current situation. So, um, enjoy.